how do we start this? Uh, most, well, I, can, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm too tired for this. Hold on. Boop, boop. Welcome, y'all, to the Boku Cast. I'm everyone's favorite host, so yeah, I'm the host of this podcast. My name is Aaron, or Boku Satsu, and uh, we are here today to talk about a lot of stuff. We're here to talk about nachos, the jalapenos. We had a couple of Black Adams. I just saw that yesterday. We had a couple of friends. <coughs> yeah, and we're also going. We're also going. We're, we're also going to get into like to like to do some uh, spoiler territories. I don't dawn brothers. Oh boy, we got a lot of shit to say. Yeah, a lot of shit to say. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, it's a guy messing with me. Right, my bad. Oh, my bad. Okay, so, so ha 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 ha, we are here to talk about nachos. Why I'm talking about well. <laughs> All right. Yesterday, I was yesterday. Yes, yesterday, I went to a movie with a couple of friends, and we all saw me and my two other friends. We all saw Black Adam, and uh, it was actually a very really good movie. And uh, before we started, before we go watch it, we 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 uh, went to the we went to the to the booth. Well, well, to the uh, main entrance where. We went to the snack bar, okay? We went to the snack bar. And uh and uh we went there, we put in, we put an order like 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 what kind of food we want. My friend my one friend he got a huge bucket of popcorn and soda. My other friend she just she just my other friend she just got nachos. And I I was like, ah oh, man, I want I want wings, but they didn't have wings or pretzels. So I asked. So I asked for uh, Doritos Locos nachos, and I got that. And they asked me to want jalapenos. I asked them. I asked them, are they spicy? And they said yes. And well, it was spicy. Not it was. It wasn't like a big. It wasn't like a ten out of ten spicy, but it was spicy enough for the chips, and it was actually really good. For the movie Blackout, it's definitely a really good movie, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm still not hyped for it. I'm still not. I, first time first time getting announced, I was like, oh cool. That, oh cool. That's a good looking trailer. I, I still wasn't hyped for it. I, I still not. I'm still not. I ain't I'm I ain't hyped for the movie. I saw it, it was good, it was decent. But yeah, but yeah, it wasn't like a ten out of ten. I give it an eight. At, t- at times, some part of it, the dialogue was just cringe. At other times, at other times, the uh, I feel like that uh, the comedic moments were there, but it just didn't feel like a lot for me. And the end credit scene, oh my god, that end credit scene, even though <laughs> that end credit scene, oh boy. Oh boy, that's good. That's something. I said to my friend, "Let's go, let's go." I said to my friend, "Let's go." The end credits scene was so good. Yeah, man, it was so good. It was a good movie. I want to know. I want to say this: the music choice for that movie is weird because it just felt like that uh, they were just getting random songs from from rappers and singers and put like in that movie. Again, then, again, then, Hollywood been doing this with superhero movies, so it's not the first time. But, uh, yeah, overall, Black Adam was decent. It was actually a good movie. Do I recommend it? If you're a fan, if, if you're, if you're like a, if you're like a somewhat of a Black Adam fan, then go ahead. The Rock did pretty good with this. The cast was amazing as well. The villain, man, but hey, but hey, I still enjoyed it. The end credits scene was the best part, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. 
I cannot wait to see those two heels, those two men in cape, beat the shit out of each other. Well, all right, look at this. Spoiler for those. Spoiler for those. Spoiler for those that. Ah, spoiler for those that haven't watched the movie, but uh, and then credit scene, Amanda Waller gave Black Adam a warning, saying that if he if he leaves Conda, if he leaves Conda, he's in a, he's in a lot of trouble. Black Adam just said, "Yeah, no, you know, he, yeah, no, yeah, no, he, yeah, no, he didn't, he didn't listen to a warning." And after that, a familiar face came out of the smoke, <laughs> and and that face was Heavy Cavill, if you know what I'm saying. Warner Brothers might be teasing. War, it looked like Warner Brother, this is just me. It looked like Warner Brother wanted to do a Black Adam versus Superman movie. And if I remember, if I remember, if I remember what what The Rock said, he said that uh, he's down, he is down, he is down to go join, he's down to go do that. I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm too. I'm too. I was like, oh, yo, that's pretty awesome. That's actually really cool, though. I can't, I can't wait for that. I still ain't buying, I still ain't buying the McFarlane figure. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so hold on. My throat's a little dry. Luckily, I have this drink with me. <sighs> like I was saying, yeah, Black Adam, so good. It was actually very good. <laughs> before we before we went to that movie, we went we went to Barnes and Nobles because that's when. That's where my that's where I'm, that's where, that's when me and my friends will meet up and uh we went into the manga section on the second on the second floor and uh oh my goodness there was a lot of good stuff there the manga there was novels there was an, there was a what's com what's it com what's the animal there was anime too a lot of merchandise as well but yeah my wife's friend bought this uh this one. For this one issue of Mob Psycho 100. And I found a gold mine with what the Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. Like, hey, look at all this good shit right here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if you saw my Instagram story, you you already know what's up then. So, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. It was actually, yeah, it was actually, it was actually a really good, uh, it was actually a really good day for me as well with that. After that, I came home, ate some Chipotle for dinner. I know, right? It, it was a veggie burrito, don't worry. I did my laundry, listened to a podcast. And, uh, yeah, after that, yeah, I went to bed. So, yeah, that was my Saturday. Oh, yeah, I also watched the late episode of Dawn Brothers. And, uh, fuck, God damn it. I just rewatched it one hour ago too, but fuck. I'm gonna rewatch it again once the subs come out for comes out, but uh, damn that that was not really good. That was actually really good, you know. Oh man. Was, oh man. It was crazy. It was just crazy. I can't spoil it because I know that some I know I know that a few of my subscribers have not watched do not watch Dawn Brothers, but for those that do, you know you know what's happened. But uh, I'm gonna put a spoiler warning here. If you haven't watched Dawn Brothers, don't watch this segment of the podcast. But uh, the latest episode, wow, the fact that that wow, wow, just wow, the latest episode is probably the best episode of Dawn Brothers in my opinion, because damn, he no way knew what he was doing. I said this on uh I said this on the Henshin Heroes podcast. Go check out go check out go check out the podcast. I was a guest on there, same for another user named Zero Agito. I said on there that uh it feels like Inoue was Inoue, Inoue took two two shows that he worked on in the past with Fives and Kiva and put it in Dawn Brothers with the with the freaking Mio. You know, with the freaking Mio, Natsumi, Kinji, and Tsubasa relationship. 
love triangle, and I like that. I like that. I actually like that though. It's actually really good. Even though I did not, I did not like Kiva or Fies. It works here. It works here because in Kiva, it just didn't work. The love triangle just didn't work there, and it was just pretty bad in my opinion. And Fies, and we don't need to talk about Fies. Fies, Fies is a hot mess of show. So yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But uh, but uh, back on, but uh, back on saying. It's back on as I was saying is that this day's episode was really good. Also, I let me be honest. I have a little bit I had a little bit of a bias because well, I have a little bit of, I have a little bit of a bias because it's the lay the lay Hoshi though. Hoshi? I think name Hoshi. The lay like monster theme for this episode was Decoranger. And also the final villain for Bullkinger played played a play I think I think you could say somewhat of an important character from the monsters user in this movie. Movie. In this episode, so yeah. And if you and if you follow me and if you follow me and if you follow me, you know if you follow me on my social media, you know how much I love decorating, so I won't, I won't go there. But, uh, yeah, this episode is actually really good. My, my best, my favorite part of the episode is the second plot that focused on the love triangle between Mio, Natsumi, and, uh, Eno Brothers and Kinji Brothers. That's, that's actually my favorite part of the whole episode. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, freaking Shoni that Shoni is Shoni is uh Momo told his boyfriend back to normal. He no longer had that red juice. Why well, gotta say it like that? <laughs> Why well, gotta say it like that? He no longer had that red juice in him. <laughs> ah yeah yeah. No, speaking of red, can you talk about Bullkinger for a second? This is actually a great segment. We're talking about uh reds. Lately on Twitter, I've been seeing a lot of people giving my boy giving my, one of my favorite Sentai, Gogo Sentai Bullkinger, a lot of shit. A lot of flack. Now, as a Bullkinger defender, I love that show, so that's one of my favorite Sentai. Why are people hating on it? Like, yo, for real though, listen. Okay, 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 I get it. It's not for everyone, but for real, guys, Bullkinger is so underrated. Now, I don't see a lot of people talk about it. People talk about centers like Abba Ranger, Magic Ranger, Decker Ranger, Time Ranger, Gokaiger, which, to be honest, Gokaiger is pretty mid, in my opinion, and overrated, so yeah. But, like, what about Bullkinger, though? I love Bullkinger. Those, those suits do not get a lot of love, and that, that's what breaks my heart. And yes, I, yes, Bullkin is in my top five. So, so it's also that. And pe like one of the people, one of the pe one of the things a lot of people, a lot, and also I've been seeing a lot of slander for uh, my boy Akashi, Bullkin Red. He's my favorite character, Bullkin. No joke, he actually is. He's my favorite character. I love the actor. He's cool. Oh, fun fact: the actor, the actor liked my comment one time on an Instagram post. When I, when I call him handsome, it says something about him being bulking red, so yeah. But for real, for real, you guys do not need a slander. My boy, Akashi, he is the GOAT. Red's past Red's like, uh, like, okay, Akashi, 
he's on the same level of being a badass red, just like with freaking uh, Ryoga from Abba Ranger, Bond from Decker Ranger, Judo from Kira Major, Yosuke from uh, Hurricane <laughs> I can see, oh yeah, freaking Domo Taurus as well. I can see up there as well in my top five. Most of say top ten as well. He's, he's one of my favorites. He's funny. He's cool. And I, and, and I love the message that him and the show give about, him and the show give about, about traveling, give, about going on adventures. So yeah, that's what I love about Bo Kinja in general. It worked for that. Yes, the show doesn't have a plot, but here's the thing. The main plot of the show is for the character to find their... The main plot of Bo Kinger is this. For those... For those that want to... For those... For those that like to go on adventures and travel... This show is for you! Because this show is mostly for me. Because I... Want... I... Love to travel. I, I want to go to farm places that is like freaking where I live. I want to go to like, okay, let's say uh, Korea, Korea, Hong Kong, Japan, the UK, anywhere. I I want to travel because I because well, I can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait to start. Ah <laughs> uh, uh, okay, no, okay, but yeah, for real though, I want to travel. That's one of my biggest dream because. My my biggest dream is to become a photographer slash influencer, and uh, I have a feeling for doing that. Traveling will be part of that goal as well, and uh, I would love to do that. No, my God, hit my mic. No fear, though. I would love to do that, and uh, I'm totally down for that. So yeah. <laughs> Ah oh, man, but Phil though, don't trash on Bull Kendrick if you deal on coming after you. So moving on to the next segment. Uh what uh what else do I talk about? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh this whole week had been annoying as heck for work. Deal be honest with you, Monday through uh be honest with you, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, especially Friday with with total BS. God damn it. Work was just fucking annoying and stupid. I see now. I'm not gonna say where I work. I'm not gonna say where I work, uh one, I don't wanna get doxxed. And two, that's my information going up. But let's just say where I work at. I make good money, yes. But at the same time I'm not having a fun time there. Because do do <sighs> Work was pissing me off this week for how stupid, how stupid, how fucking stupid that place is. Every time they do, every time I get accused or yelled at, or or someone gave me the look, I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? This this all would have happened if you were, if you weren't even. Oh my god. I think I think you tell that I I not like where I work. <laughs> I'm making money, yeah. But money aside, working there is not fun. But I'm only there for the money, sadly, so yeah. <sighs> what else can I talk about this week? Oh yeah, October's almost over. Hey for that I did not like October. For real though, I did not like October not one bit. Even though I don't care for Halloween anymore, October's just meh. Your boy just waiting for November to get here, then December. Because December is my birthday year, or birthday month year. What for? No, birthday month. Yeah, December 15th. Uh, yeah, my birthday. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do it on that day, but I'll just wait until wait December gets there. Oh, yeah, I got announcement to make. So. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, your boy has a Twitch. Your boy has an announcement. I have a Twitch channel. Yes, I have a Twitch. I have a Twitch. I have. I have a Twitch. A Twitch channel. Well, I will mostly be using that 
for streaming video games and have, a, and, have, and have like a lot of IRL talks with you guys on there. So yeah, go follow. The link to the description. So yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I was thinking about, should I make a Twitch? Because like, I'm not the biggest fan of that platform due to all the shady stuff that Twitch does in the past and current. But I give it a try. I made a Twitch account like a long time ago. But uh... I don't have that account anymore, so yeah. Also, I couldn't delete it. Yeah, for some reason, Trish wouldn't let me delete that old account. I don't know. I tried to delete it after deleting the app, but uh, yeah, no, I still got still got a lot of notifications after deleting the app a couple of years ago. Even like last month as well. So yeah. Sorry, but uh, but yeah, Twitch. I have a Twitch account. Uh, follow me, follow me down there, cause I do, I do have plans on streaming that uh one day, streaming. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do have plans on streaming uh down there. So yeah, and also uh, this I got a question to ask you guys. Are you guys down if I do like? Are you guys down like if I do like live streams on YouTube as well? I did in the past, and uh, dude, I got I got some insane feedback. But uh, now I'm t I'm thinking about I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing it now because of one reason, one reason only. I think I'm thinking about doing it now because well, because well, I. C because well, I can see. Ugh. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry. I was stretching. But uh, I can see that uh, I can see that I can see that uh, I can see that uh, freaking uh, fuck. Goddamn, I'm too tired. <laughs> I can see myself do it. So yeah. What game will be streaming? I don't know. Expect expect I know Fortnite. I can't do Fortnite. Fortnite just Yeah no, Fortnite's garbage. It's just it's just a cash cow at this point about that game. People even ask me at work, Hey Ew, do you play Fortnite? No. Why not? It had Dragon Ball Z characters in it. Okay, and I love Dragon Ball Z, don't get me wrong. But I just don't care for Fortnite in general. I tried to play Fortnite a long time ago. I didn't like it. Still don't. And like I said, the the game's a fucking cash cow. How is that game not even not even dead yet? What the heck? Is Epic Game is Epic Game really that desperate just to milk the crap out of anime character? Jesus Christ. Like okay, Epic Games, I get it. I get it. You guys are desperate. Y'all want more money that pub Y'all want more money. Also you're mad at the time PUBG managed to get more get more uh fan loyal fans than you. Like who's even who like, who's even playing PUBG now? I honestly don't know. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay. Ay ay. Twitch, not Twitch. Epic Games, stop being desperate. Just, just stop being desperate. To be honest, you, I don't. I, to be honest, you, the last time I uh bought a brand new video game was two years ago. Yeah, what? What two years ago? Holy crap! With uh, with uh, freaking The Last of Us Part Two. And uh, 
Marvel, Miles Morales, Spider Man. I want PS4. PS4. I have a PS4. I mean a PS5, so I can uh go play the new Spider Man game, Wolverine, and also also get my hands on Gotham Knight. I know Gotham Knight. I've been hearing a lot of mixed uh, opinions on Gotham Knight. It looks decent. I would play it, but too bad I don't, too bad I don't have a PS5. So this is also that. Because everywhere I go, the motherfucker sold out. And I'm mad about that. I just want the version that I could put my disc in. Because I did not put... I'm the type of guy that I'm the type of guy that prefer going to into a GameStop and buying an actual physical copy of the game instead of just buying on uh, instead of buying on PSN. Because here's the thing. For here's the thing. Imagine if you don't have no internet, right? You can't play any of your online games, and yet, yet you you have the digital version of PS5, right? And you look behind you, you have you you have like a lot of PS5 games. That are physical versions on your shelf, and you're, and, you're, and you're like crap. I can't play that due to me having the digital version on the PS5. I don't want the digital version. I want the phys I want the other version of PS5 that I can put my disc in. Because again, I'm the type of guy that I'm the type of guy that go down the GameStop and put my pre-order in for a game to come out with my game, and put it in my console and play it all night. I, that, that's what I do. That's what I did for Spider Man Miles. Well, to be honest, no, I didn't do that for Miles. You know, I didn't pre-order the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but still, but still, but still, but still, that's me. That's just me right there. So yeah. Ah, uh, oh yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, I'm too tired for this. Not gonna lie. I know I've been saying that, but it's like, dude, I have like no energy. This podcast might be short. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Well, what, what, what else can I talk about? I have this week. Uh, uh Oh yeah, the late episode Dream is pretty good. A tycoon I, again. I always say that tycoon and naga, uh, nago. Sorry, tycoon and nago, nago. That nago. Tycoon and nago are like my two favorite characters in the show. And at the late ep- in the late episode with tycoon, that made me cry. Like my boy sacrificed himself to save his sister. That's what's up. Also, spoiler. I didn't mean to say that. So yeah. That's what's up. That's that. That's me. What's up? I respect him for that. Jesus, pretty good. I'm not getting way more than Ray Vice. Cause well, if you see my, if you see my my review on Ray Vice, you know that you know that I wasn't the biggest fan of that show. Honestly, I, uh, I've been having a love and hate relationship with Raywall Common Rider, and we didn't know this didn't happen with Saber. No. This happened with Ray Vice when when my opinion changed on the whole entire show as a whole. Because I for, because like because I, I remember I remember I remember it was only what the I think what the second the first half first second half one or two that uh that was like uh oh, what's this feeling inside me? Uh what's this feeling? Uh but this feeling, I don't know, dude. Ray Vice just, I thought Ray Vice was, I thought Ray Vice was okay. I watched it though. The whole thing, I didn't like it. This is coming from me, a guy that doesn't like Ray Vice. Oh wait, oh wait, what did y'all y'all don't know that? Yeah, uh, I don't like Ray Vice. There are a few kids that like. If I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a hot, a little hot take right here. I'm gonna give y'all a little hot take. As much as Saber was, as much as a complete shit show Saber was, I'll be honest. I'll be fairly honest. I will take Saber over Ray Vice any day. 
And that's, and that's just sad. Why is that? Because half the characters in the Wave Vice don't do shit. Like, Sakura doesn't, like, Sakura doesn't have a character in the show, just to point this out. The villains are god-awful. Who are you, oh, not who are you, uh, Oteka, I like Oteka in the beginning, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, in the climax, in the first half, he got, he got really annoying, I just, I just didn't care for him anymore. Akashi, the fucking, uh, leader of, uh, Phoenix, I don't care for him. Actor's cool, I just don't care for him. The villains are garbage, Juga, uh, really, uh, I, have, I have too much hate for Poor Juga. I know, I can say right here. I did not like Juga. Because I still look back at it saying that that was wasted potential if unnecessary for them to do for George's character. It just feel like that it just feel like that the one out one out idea to okay, you know what? Okay, you know, we've been sorry too many times. We need to make Gifu we, we need to make Gifu the big bad of the show. Yeah. He didn't feel like a big bad. Who feel, like feel like a big bad in the show? No one did. No one did. It felt like they just. It felt. It felt like they put. It, it felt like that they just pour zero one from and put in Ray Vice. You know, stupid. What the heck? Like really, really. That's how you gonna end. That. That 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 how you gonna end like anniversary season for fifty years of Common Rider, but by getting one of the best characters in the first half, they they make his daddy problem irrelevant again. No, that was unnecessary. Raise the potential. That was stupid. And the suit doesn't even look, the suit doesn't even look like the suit doesn't even look that good in my, in the first place. Juga was unnecessary. It was stupid. I'm sorry, but it is. Same, same fucking goes to uh Sakura's character. I don't talk about this much because I, because I have a lot of friends who like Wave Life. I'm gonna, hurt, I'm gonna hurt, I'm gonna hurt a lot of people's friends for saying this, but uh, I don't care for Sakura. She's a good character, to to be honest. Oh, excuse me. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Why? Why do people like Sakura? Oh, here's why. Oh, here's why. Here's why. Here, 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 like Sakura. The plushy, Loku, Lokov, even though I don't care for Lokov. And she's a strong, intel, she's a strong, independent female rider. Which, I like. Listen, I'm down for, I'm down for strong, independent female comrade. I want more of that. But, in my opinion, Sakura wasn't it. Because she didn't have cares in the show. Like, What's the reason you come at Kamen Rider? She so wants to fight people, get stronger. That's it? Like, like, that's it? Like, really? That's it? Like, if that's it? Because if that is, then that's stupid. Huh. My boy Bonjo from Bill had a reason why he became a Kamen Rider. He, he, he became a Kamen Rider to protect people. For, he became a Kamen Rider for love and peace and protect people. In protect his new family with Bonjo, Sento, no, wait, in protect his new family with Bonto, Sean, and, wait, <laughs> and he became Conway to protect all people that he cares about. <laughs> I can't. I love Bill, so, so, by aside from that, by aside from my Bill love, but back on, but, but back on why I don't like Sakawa. Sakawa, what, Sakawa? They had a character. It felt like they wanted me to make it a main character. I'm like, okay, no, I could. But at the same time, but yeah, at the same time, she, she, she was just there. She didn't have a character. She did it, though. And I'm going to ask me, Aaron, 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 don't, Aaron, don't you think, don't, don't you think being unnecessary if you hate on a character for her kid show? Yes and no. Hear me out. Hear me out. A character need a character need a good motive to be a character need a good motive to be interesting to be well that good of a character. Like okay, shit. Uh, let's go with okay okay, what's the first okay. Okay, let's go with freaking uh Eno Butter from 
that Inu brother from freaking Dawn Brothers. Inu brother, Tsubasa has a Tsubasa, my favorite character in the show, and he has an interesting character and backstory. The man's girlfriend was kidnapped by him by a dark force a long time ago. And and this late episode of Dawn Brother, he just got her back. Because the first half the first half and the second half have been foreshadowing that event so many times and I loved it. It's really good storytelling there. For the for for the writing and for the character. Ray Vice! Yeah no! Yeah no! Hell, freaking Haruka from uh Dawn Brother has a more is a better character than Sakura. Cause well because well, see more interesting has had had, had an interesting backstory. What's Sakura's? Like, the only thing I think about is just, the only thing I think about I think of Sakura is Hana. And I like Hana more than Sakura. Cause Hana has a character development and a backstory. She just wants a family. Nate, no joke. That's all she wants. She just wants a family. Even in that, even in that, um, I'm not gonna call it mid. Even in that okay, uh, overhyped, uh, special girls and not uh, girls remix. The whole the whole point of that fucking uh special was Hana to find someone like family. And she found out in Sakura. When she said "I love you, Sakura," she said that as a sister, not as a girlfriend. Just just saying. Uh, Sakura, Sakura, Sakura was just in the show just for Hana's care development. That's it. Besides that, I can't tell you a single thing about Sakura, cause she doesn't have a fucking character. But she's strong, independent, she can do karate. I mean, okay, fair enough, but at the same time, I don't care for Sakura. She doesn't have a character. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't hide that anymore. She doesn't have a character in the show. I try to think about it many times, but she doesn't. And it's stupid. And I'll get. And I right, know that I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but uh, you want you want to hear this? Hear this for me. <clears throat> Reika, Reika, Sebala from from Saber, it's Ray Bird and Sakura. Don't at me. And this and, and, and this is coming from someone. This is coming from me, someone who doesn't even like Saber. At least, at least, she has a character somewhere on the show. But yeah, not yeah, uh, yeah, other time, but yeah, other time. She just want to make out and have. She just, she just want to make out with her brother by the by the subtext subtext. And my stomach's gone. That's great. <laughs> I'm not even hungry. Uh yeah, yeah. That's a lot of bad taste in my mouth for saying that about her. But wake up. But sadly, yeah. I love Angel. Listen, listen, I love Angel May. She's a cool person. She's actually a really nice. She, she, she seems like a really nice person to me. I'm listen. If I I would love listen. I'm saying I would love to meet her because I want to talk to her. I I do. I want to talk to her. I want to talk to her because she seems like an interesting person. A really nice person. A really nice gal as well. And she also kind of she also pretty cute. Ain't gonna lie. So yeah. So back on, oops, sorry. So back on, as I was saying, Sakura, actress are cool, but the character was just pretty boring. She didn't have, she didn't have reason to be part of the show. Sorry, not sorry. So, so moving on from my, moving on from my Ray Vice rant, because, well, every time I think about that show, it just gave me so fucking angry. <laughs> If anyone gonna ask me what anyone gonna ask me how do I rank these shows? Okay. So Raywa ain't Raywa Raywa is the hit and miss for me for all three of these shows. Ray Vice, I cannot stand. I did not like Ray Vice. Saber was disappointing. I still hate it to this very day. Zero one wasn't Zero One wasn't that bad, in my opinion. While I have criticism for it, I'll say like this. Zero one, Saber, and then Ray Vice. Then Ray Vice. 
Jim A. Vice, but yeah, Jim B. Vice. So yeah, yeah, I can't say it. That Labor has been uh not impressing me lately for Comrade for the past three show. I'm loving G so far. G is pretty good. I'm liking G so far. I can't talk about G that much because she'll just start it. If if the show goes, if the show goes that same way you're talking how she's doing right now, then it might be my favorite. It might be my favorite like Rayla show out of the out of the main four. So yeah, because we all know you are talking how she's previous work in a crappy show, in a disappointing mediocre show like Zero One, in a uh, X Aid. So yeah, even though both those shows aren't even my favorite. I like Zero One, but at the same time, X A was a complete disappointment for me on my third rewatch. It's just, just, just that show. It, that show is just stupid. That's all I'm gonna say. Not just stupid, but it's pretty, it's pretty mediocre and bad. So yeah. So anyway, back on anyway, back on saying it. Yeah, I'm liking G so far, but yeah, for real, Ray Vice. No, Ray Vice. Rayball for Comrade for me, the past few shows have not been good to me. I didn't watch Zero One when it came out, so I can't talk about Zero One that much. Second half, yes, but first half, I didn't watch Zero One that much. I didn't watch Zero One when it came out on 2019, so that gets a pass. But Saber and Ray Vice, I can talk about since I watch both of those dailies. Since I watch both of those shows, since I watch both of those two shows daily when they came out. Saber. What can I say about what can I say about Comrade Saber? Get my own thoughts about. It's been like what two years? I think it has. I think two years since Saber came out. And uh, okay, Saber. What do Blokusatsu thought on Saber? Well, looking back at it, do I like it more? Do I, do I like it more? No. I don't like Saber because Saber was just bad. Well, not just bad. It was just. It's just unnecessary, disappointing. The, the plot made no sense for all the retcons and the plot hole and all the characters don't even have a fucking character in the show. Like, I'm sorry. What's the point of what's the point of Ocean Man being there? Like actually not. After 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 his awesome debut, he's just there just just for his sister to get horny for him. And that's just disgusting. And uh, Toei should be ashamed of that because Toei, 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 listen, listen, you have, you guys, you guys have a fucking problem with incest in your fucking kid shows. Take care of that and get some help. It's fucking disgusting. Ugh. Oh god. I'm gonna need something to bleach my eyes out for saying that. But uh, yeah. <sighs> Besides that, let's talk about Ren for a second. Now, now Ren, Ren. I know a lot of people like Ren. I want to get my opinion about Ren. The man doesn't have a care. The man. The man was only the kid. Ren was only a Ren was a somewhat decent character in the beginning of the show. I said, you know, I liked him. He was pretty cool. A lot of people hated on him, but I actually liked him. Second half, he was useless. The only thing I'm good about him is his friendship with Desass. Besides that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it about the guy. That's like pretty much it. And that's and that's and that's all I'm gonna say. That's that's just it. That's all I'm gonna say. <sighs> Again, I'll take Saber over Ray Vice any day. So yeah. Ugh. Also, I'm gonna ask me. I'm gonna ask me. What's my favorite? How how do I ring like the final four into Ray Wall? All right. My favorite. My favorite. Like my favorite. My favorite. Like I thought. Well, my favorite. Like Ray Wall final form is uh zero two. I love it. It's, it's simple. It's clean. It's not big and bulky. I know. Way I want to go back to the simple design for for like final forms and yeah, like that. Second, cross saber. 
I know. Let me uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yes, I know. It's a repaint. It's a fucking repaint. But let me let, let me let me give you my reason. Let me give you my reason. I love Cross Saber. The I know the development team went through hell for for creating that super and all the damn stars on there. But I love Cross Saber. I love the color blue. Not a big fan. Not a big fan of the. Not a big fan of the yellow glove they add to that suit. But besides that, I love the color. I love the color that they did for it. If I love, it, okay, right. I'm a sucker for it. Okay, I'm a sucker for it. I'm a sucker for it. And then we got Ultimate Ray Vice. Uh, I I do not like those suits. I think I think I can finally say this. Yeah, I can finally say this. Wait, wait, it's over. I do not like Ultimate Ray Vice. That suit is god awful. Also, the fact that they the fact that they're reusing Kiva's helmets for Ray Vice and, and that just got me, and that just that just uh, got me mad as well. Why they got you mad? Because they're fucking being lazy. And Kit bashing another another damn suit. Fuck it. Ray Vice? You know. Oh, Ray Wa has so many damn Kit bashes. You're so fucking lazy. <sighs> this is why I'm enjoying like Ultraman and Sentai for Ray Wa way more. Well, except for Trigger. Trigger was Trigger wasn't the best. I didn't like Trigger. But I love Z. I'm loving Decker. Sentai been killing it, in my opinion, for Ray War with bangers after Kira Mazer, Zinc Hydra, and Dawn Brothers. So, yeah. Ray War have been killing it as well for Sentai, so. Yeah. And yes, I may have a bias for all three of those, but uh, still. But still, they're all good shows, in my opinion. Zinc is fun. I like Zinc But Dawn Brothers brought to a whole different level. And Dawn Brothers gave me the exact same level as NG as Kira Major. Kira Major helped me around well, Kira Major helped me get past twenty twenty. And uh, I'm grateful for that show. So yeah. <laughs> which hence which is why I bought the freaking memorial Kira May Changer. And yes, I will be doing a review of that toy on my channel. When once I once I get once I get like a notification we took collectibles from it, so yeah. So anyway, so anyway, back on from that. Yeah, uh, Ray Wolf vs. Comrider haven't been the best to me. Haven't ha haven't been that good. They haven't been that good. So yeah. <laughs> Will I go back and rewatch Life Fury Show? One day, I'm down to go rewatch Saber. I'm down to go be watch Saber one day. But at the same time, I'll, same time, if I go we watch it, if I go we watch it, I'm gonna be like, fuck, this show's still bad. This show's still bad. This show's still bad. This show's still bad. <sighs> what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, my, like, goal, so, let's talk about goals for a second. What's your guys' goal? What, what are your guys' goals you want to do in the future? Oh, for me, I want to be an influencer and a, and a photographer. I'm just a photographer. A photographer and an influencer. Because, I, because, I talked to my mom about it yesterday, and she said, and she said that she can totally see that in me. And I'm like, yeah, same here. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for that to happen to me, because I'm down. Well, I'm totally down. This, I'm totally down for that. Because lately, I've been watching like a lot of YouTubers who are, who are like somewhat influencers, you can say. And I'm like, you know what? I can totally see myself. I can totally see myself. Doing the same thing, same thing as they're doing in that house. I would say house. No, in this video, there's. And yeah, and yeah, I totally see it though because 
Dude, I'll be honest with you. Where I live, it's, where I live is, uh, well, no offense, but, uh, it's pretty, I wouldn't say pretty hard. Yeah, no, it's pretty hard. Because I want, for my, for me being influencer, I want to, I want to get other people into, like, into other, like, stuff that isn't, like, anime or superhero. Y'all know, you, you guys, you guys already know that I love, I love Tokusatsu. You know, I want to bring that, I want to bring the, I want to bring, like, Comrider over where I live. Like, like the franchise, the brand itself, for more attention over here where I live. And we, and it's not, no, it's not over here, sadly. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart, though. I want it over here. So, yeah. Also want, and, and I also want, like, a mini Jap, also want, I also want, like, somewhat decent Japanese market over here. Why? Because I want one. That's why. That would be cool, though. Ain't gonna lie. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah. That's just... Anyway, yeah, that's just... That's just it. I guess you could say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Where I live is where I fucking live. It's uh, I love it over here. At the same time, dude, it's fucking dry as hell. It's fucking dry as hell. Why is no one selling Comrade merch where I live? Darn it! We have Power Ranger, but dude, I don't want to see Power Ranger stuff on there. I want to see Kamen Rider, Ultraman, Sentai. Yeah, no, we can't have it over here, sadly, due to reasons. But but besides that, I want more Toki merch over here. <sighs> All right, I'm too tired for this shit. I'm too tired for this shit. I am fucking too tired for this shit. What the hell? So anyway, uh, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do the podcast. I don't know when this episode will go up. I guarantee it's gonna be up tonight. Or tomorrow. So yeah. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my so follow all my social media. Also again, please subscribe. The boy is almost wrong like boys almost at uh, what I think like where, where am I at? Where am I at? Hold on. Where am I at for subs? I told you that before, dude. Oh uh, yeah, I'm almost at six hundred, so uh, I'm almost at 600, so yeah, please subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 600 subs. Here for that, I'm almost, I'm almost at my goal of getting to 1,000 subs. Okay, well, my goal, my goal, my goal is to go up to like 1,000 subs around like freaking, uh, freaking like what? Oh, freaking, um, like what? Freaking, uh, let's say November. No, uh, till 2023 gets here. So yeah. So yeah, guy. Thanks for all. Th- thanks for all for watching and listening. My name's Aaron, or Broku, whatever you want to call me. And I'm out. Bye. Have a nice day.